to you on the importance of a woman with godly vision. Can you guys say that with me? The importance of a woman with godly vision. Wisdom is the ability to view and see your life and the life of others from a God-centered perspective. And it's responding to the things that are going on in your life on the basis of the truth of the word of God. Wisdom, I used to always think I want to be so deep. And I used to pray and pray and pray and pray for wisdom and, and what it was. And, and so I always thought, honestly, in, in me being naive, that wisdom was getting older, having life experiences, going through some different things and, and, and you know, different challenges but, and still coming out alive and in your right mind on the other side. And the Holy Spirit said, well, yeah, but not yeah. What wisdom is, he said, that's knowledge. He says, and there's a lot of people that have knowledge, but they still mess up their lives. He said, wisdom is going through those things, going through those challenges, coming out on the other side, but not just coming out on the other side, but coming out on the other side with a God-centered perspective of what you just went through. Seeing God in what the thing or in the trial that you just suffered through with wisdom or in wisdom should I say is simply vision a godly centered vision vision not going by what you see not going by what you see here in the natural natural but going by what your father sees by what he is speaking to you so you have to ask God for a God-centered vision for your life. I remember um, we're talking about mothers. And mothers, we have a different love. Yes, Charles is very, very um, short with the kids. And it's okay. But I carried them babies. I felt them growing inside of me. I pray for those babies. Um, I Loved Keaton when Keaton's head was this big. Okay? And to see him now, I still love him. So I'm going to have a different type of compassion for him. I'm going to have a different type of love for him. So with vision, I want you to write down these. How many things I got for you real quick? Let me see. Hold on. Once you write down these four things, the first one is with vision, when you're looking through your, 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 your God-centered eyes, not your natural eyes, vision, verse, purpose. Say purpose. Purpose. You have to look within. We need to start by asking the question of ourselves. What am I here for, Lord? Why did you create me? And who am I? It says in one, um, Psalms 139, 13, 14, it says, um, God created me in my inmost being. You know me all together in my mother's womb. I will praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. The great picture of the way that God knows that he has put us together. God is using his God-centered vision at that point. And we need to ask God, God, show me who I am through you. Show me who my kids are through you. Show me who my family is through you. Show me who my church is through you through you. Don't let me get stuck on what I'm seeing right now because if I get stuck on what I'm seeing right now, I'll stop. I believe that was the same way with Naomi and Ruth. See, the, 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 the secret to that story is Ruth thought she needed Naomi, but Naomi needed Ruth just as much because, see, Naomi was ready to give up. She was ready to throw in the towel. She was ready to change her name. Call me Mara. I'm dead. I, there is nothing left in me. And Ruth seen her through God's eyes and said, no, there's still more I need in you. There's still more that I can pull out of you. There's still more that you have to give. And God is saying the same thing to Kansas City Community Church. We looking at it and we don't see it. We ain't feeling it. We like, what is this? God, what are you saying? God said, no, there's still more rain in the clouds. 
There's still more that you have to give. There's still more souls out there for you to touch. There's still a way for me to come through and be an example of love and light in this community. And in your homes, he's saying the exact same thing. 